<laughs> the, the anti-humaniator? Yeah. You don't understand anything, me neither. This is a point-and-click game. It's not meant to be understood. <laughs> it's a confusing run through a series of twisty corridors that sometimes double back on themselves and occasionally flip upside down. And that is a point-and-click game. So the dryer is the only thing in the future that is there in the past. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's one other thing, apart from the grandfather clock, that's just a doorway. The washing machine was broken and we couldn't interact with it. We tried that stuff. Unti Untitled Goose Game is out? Yep, it is. You've missed everything at this point. Yeah, in summary, a purple tentacle wants to take over the world. Uh, in the present day, he drank sewage water, toxic waste coming out of the back of the mansion that the professor was pumping out. He mutated arms and then had ambitions of taking over the world, and apparently he does it. Because they try to use the time machine to go back and stop him from doing this, and what they actually end up doing is getting sort of like split off in different locations. Hoagie goes to the past, to colonial days, um, and the like post-American Revolution, the founding of the United States. And Laverne goes to the future, where tentacles rule the Earth, and now they're trying to fix their time machines and get back that they can pass items through the time machine to each other. And that's what we're trying to do, is give everybody what they need to get their time machine fixed. Hoagie's fixed his. We just need to get Laverne. So, yeah. Um, anyway, what were we... Yeah, the, there was... In the present day... The ice machine exists here and here. It's the only thing, and it still has ice in it. That ice looks incredibly old. It looks incredibly old because it's probably the same ice. It's pretty darn cold. Just to test it first. I'm not so sure that's a good no. idea. Okay, so I can't pass that through. What about coffee? Decaf wouldn't help there. Hmm, I don't know. It's but powerful stuff. We need the hamster in the future. This is so dumb. Oh my god, it's so I'm dumb. Sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. It's so dumb. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Bye bye, hamster. Looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. We have a frozen hamster. He's frozen solid. Well, I'm going to let you all contemplate that for a few moments while I go and take a quick bathroom break. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Don't go anywhere. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. $15 game, runs about three to four hours, think it's worth it. Seems about right. I'm gonna go and buy it. Let me know how it is. Right, so we have a problem. Hamster is frozen. Oh, is there anything in the... Uh Oh, this isn't the med bay. But that's the microwave, okay. Um... Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. No! Just no! Uh -oh. Take him out! Take him out! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. 
You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. That's right, children. Don't do it. I know, poor thing. But... Oh, look at him. He's a cold, wet hamster. Oh. He still looks really cold. I don't think I can open it. Um, what about the dryer? Can we put him in the dryer? Oh, we don't have any uh, coins to operate it nah. with. We, we would need coins, and the coin slot can't be operated anyway, look. Oh, where did we put the... No, not with, with this guy. The tiny sweater that we sent to the future. This ought to warm him up. Yay! Okay. Happy little hamster now. I wish I had some formaldehyde. Why? Microwave? Oh no, we just took him out of the microwave, but it's still wet. So... We defrosted him in the microwave, but then he came out wet and cold still. So we've given him the sweater, and now he's a toasty warm hamster. He's fine. Alright. No oh, you little shit. Okay, now I get it. I get it. We gotta get him back out. Okay, why did this... what the hell? Fascinating. Well, that sucks. There's a face print on the glove. I hope it's sprung for good. Push it back in. It's done moving. No. Okay. Um, the hubcap. Okay, I guess I'll take it. All right, mouse. Oh, hamster. Now. Oh, poor hamster. Hasn't he been through enough? Dust ball. <laughs> Not that easy, hamster. All right. Well, now that's sprung, maybe it won't scare it away. Well? Look at that sucker go! He just keeps running and running and running. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! You don't want to be standing there. Yeah, okay. Hoggy! I'm so happy to... Hold that thought. Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sludge o -matic. Huh? Say what? <laughs> Now, hold what, is that what we were doing? They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go! No! Wait! You can't all go in the same store! It's unhygienic! Didn't you see the fly? Oh no. Oh well, well done. Okay, the green tentacle failed. Oh god, no. We're... 
we're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's purple tentacle! It's green tentacle. Oh what my god. Purple tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. <laughs> Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronogon. Together, we will conquer the world. You tend there. Go to the basement and guard the Sludgeomatic. This would break all kinds of laws of temporal no physics. To touch the sludgeomatic. Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh oh. Excuse me. Um, us. Oh my god, are we gonna get shrunk down? <laughs> Alright, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world! What do we do now? Whoa! Oh, okay, cool. It wears off! Aha! Yeah, it's kinda shit. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Mm -hmm. Apparently not. Shh, maybe he won't find us. You who where are you human? Oh god, we're gonna have to sneak past him. That's right, an incredible four thousand carat diamond for the piddling sum of two million dollars. That number again, one eight hundred Star Wars. Call now, tell him Yoda sent you. Oh, uh, Lucas. Okay, I might have to save this. Aha! Ah, shit. Uh oh. Take that. And this drat. Get a bit of battery. Useless paperweight. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. We're too little. We'll wear off in a moment. There we go. Can we grab the bowling ball now? Yeah, because Hoagie's strong enough to do it. We've got Hoagie's arms. I don't need to take over the world. No Oops. time for that now. No time for that now. Wow! 
This is loud. No time for that now. Hey! Where'd he go? <laughs> There's the hamster. I've got one just like this packed away in the garage. Hello, little computer. I respect you, even though you've only got 64k of memory. Oh my god. Jeepers! <laughs> Oh my god. The whole, is, is, I wonder if this is the whole Maniac Mansion. This is, isn't it? Did they put a whole game inside a game? It's the full game? Oh my god. You're way too young. <laughs> god, this music. Don't be a tuna head, Bernard. Sandy we're talking about. Oh my god. Seriously? Okay, well. Need this warning. Trespassers will be horribly mutilated. Oh dear lord. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I'm tempted to create another save point. And then we can do a full playthrough of this. Very tempted now. Once we're done with, with this game, we can reload that save point and play this. That's it, yeah, this is Maniac Mansion, but it's inside the, um, the remastered Day of the Tentacle. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to exit. Let's save it. Let's make a save. Let's make a second one. There. I'll save it here as well, just for now. And hi as well, Luke Luigi. How are you today, dude? Nice to see you. Right, we're going to play that game another day. But that's a whole game, and then we'll get to the end of this. But No, I'm not going to do it that way around, but... We will play that. Wow. Okay, talk about an Easter egg. That is really cool. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. That is the coolest thing ever. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Guess we can't get through there either. We need to get down to the, uh, the toxic sludge pump. We need to deal with this invasion.
Not in here. I somehow doubt we can get down here. Oh, we can. Oh, shit. Impressive triangular formation. <laughs> oh, the doctor's up here, look. Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! Nothing worse than pupating. Dr. Fred is being held under duress. Oh no. Oh, one left and he did. Great. Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, except for the fact that the tentacle mayhem is happening now. Uh oh. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah. Turn around. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. Your Oops. efforts are so tight. <laughs> Geek! <laughs> oh dear. Run all you like, you insignificant insect. <laughs> Thank you, I believe I shall. You can't stop me. My other selves are taking over the world as we speak. So there's gonna be a trick to this. Your efforts are so tiny. <laughs> Geek! Yeah. Okay, we need something to stop him from being able to either shoot us, or we need to be able to knock him out. Run all you like, you insignificant insect. <laughs> we better deal with Purple Tentacle first. Can't leave. My mm. other selves are taking over the- Dr. Fred! Are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! <laughs> so we can't interact with him. I've already won. You that's probably a bad idea. That's probably a bad idea. Maybe we should just talk to him. Let's negotiate. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Just what is it you have against humans, anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. Sounds like his old Dr. Fred's fault. Kill him. Be done with it. Yeah. I see your point. Let's empathize. Soon the rest of the world will too. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. So? You wouldn't understand. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. But humans created the sludge matic which made you super-intelligent. Nonsense. I created that myself and sent it back through time. I knew Fred's mad scientist ego would make him use it. How's that for a paradox? Wow. Oh. Okay. Who? Fred? But there's only one of him. Right. Anyway, you can see why I detest humans. Hmm. 
You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? No, I'm good. I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. I'm gonna fall for nice that. Try. Yeah, I thought so. Are you really a future version of Purple Tentacle? Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the Diminuator? Hmm. Can you remember stuff that hasn't happened yet? Naturally. Could you give us some stock tips? Don't invest in shoes. <laughs> nice. Now, I was thinking more, have you got like a little booklet about sporting events? Perhaps some kind of almanac that shows every winner of every race, boxing match and sporting event until the end of the century. I could really go for that. Do the sharks ever have a winning season? No, but the tentacles do. <laughs> this guy is basically old Biff. <laughs> Do we manage to defeat you and save the world? Of course not. No, no, no. I went forward in time and I had a look at 40 million 600 odd solutions and we won one of them, so... Are you more or less intelligent than the purple tentacle from our time? The same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> Are you sure you're a future version of purple tentacle? I said I was, did I not? How is it that you can grow hair without follicles? It wasn't easy, but the secret made me very wealthy. Hmm. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. Sounds like you just hate Dr. Fred. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't Shoot start him. out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Aha! Rat. Uh, surely we can talk this out. Yeah. Mm. Squish. Talk. Surely. Oh, damn. Wait. You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. Oh, God. Okay, little fella, mail this to Siberia. Well, there we go. You saved the world! Fresh water and butterflies. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. <laughs> Do a Jerry Springer? Yeah. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, God. Oh, Star Wars right. references. Hmm. There's a short sequel, uh, Return of the Tentacle, made by fans? Cool. Hmm. Idiots! It seems you're not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. 
Awesome. Oops. They're all just stuck in Hoagie's clothes. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Oh, God. Looks like everything's back to normal. Awesome. Ah, oh, that was so good. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Glad I finally got to play this game. <laughs> Okay, so, the old Maniac Mansion game that's built into this game, I'm not going to play it today, so I've got another plan, uh, but I'm going to put it on the Halloween games for next month. So, so, I don't really have a lot of games I can think of. We've got Ghostbusters. And then, there's a new one coming out soon, um, to, but that's not towards the end of, uh, of October, uh, called After Party. It's by the same people who did Oxen Free. I really want to play that game. But other than that, Bloodrill! Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Two months now. Welcome back, dude. Good to see ya. <laughs> Control. You really want me to play that game, don't you, Sam? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna play that game in November just for you, because I've got a I've kinda got a little bit of a schedule ahead of me right now. Um, but I will play that game in November, I promise you. Uh, but I don't own control just yet. Are we going to play it? Uh, well, I was just saying, I, I think I'm going to play the Maniac Mansion game in October instead. So, because what I've got next, um, I did say that we were going to play Murdered Soul Suspects. That was the other community voted game. So we will come back to this, but not today. <laughs> this was one of the first adventure games you played. Oh! Really? Loom Monkey Island and Day of the Tentacle? God, some good classics there. You had a really good introduction to point and click games. Yeah, Loom was fun. Monkey Island, great game. Um, yeah. I mean, it was also there was like Full Throttle and the Indiana Jones games. They were great. A lot of the old Lucas classics. <laughs> you are way too young. You're never too young to look at old games, though. <laughs> Zack McCracken, yes. That was a golden age, it really was. I mean, there were still some good point and clicks that came out in the years afterwards, but... I don't know, then there was a drought of them, and then they seemed to be getting popular again with, like, the Wadget Eye games, and, um... Oh, who was the other one? The Thimbleweed Park that came out, that kind of thing. They were all good. <laughs> 